Hey, good evening, and welcome back once again to The Past is Alive for an episode of Turn Back the Clock Tuesday. And tonight, we are actually going to rip up in two boxes. We're taking a little bit new school, I should say. New is in 2006. Well, we've got two boxes of Fleur Ultra. Uh, I've opened a few packs of these um, in the la over the last couple of years, and I um, really liked them a lot, so I figured, what the heck, might as well get some to rip open for this series. And um, it's pretty awesome. One insert per pack uh, in these, and also we should see two game used memorabilia um, relics as far as both these boxes go. So these when these came out back in June of 2006, and were about three bucks a pack when they came out. So we got two boxes. We got 72 packs to rip open here. Actually, I apologize. 48 packs, 24 packs per box. So let's get to ripping. I appreciate you guys being here tonight. Um, hopefully you guys are all staying virus free, but John A's got a few spots in the break. So we're going to go ahead and slash into these boxes. Also, we're looking out for, um, autographs as well. They're a little harder to pull about one every 576 packs. It's a little more difficult, but hopefully we can see maybe one of those tonight. And also there's a cool subset in these two called Retro Lucky 13 with some decent cards. Also like a Justin Verlander very early on in his career. Probably one of the best ones you could pull out of that subset. But I um, like these cards a lot, so looking forward to ripping into these. Have yet to open a box. Let's check this out. Advertising Flare Showcase. Hey, Jemmin Mantle says, I missed the pre-coronavirus days already. <laughs> yeah, I think we all do already, man. Hopefully we'll be back in those days soon enough. But the best rookie card overall, there's not a ton of rookies in here that we're going after. Ryan Zimmerman is probably the best one. There's a couple other ones. But uh, primarily going after inserts, like I said, one per pack. And also looking for autos. Eight cards per pack, 24 packs per box. Mill City Wax, what's happening? Top left. Belongs to John A. Mill City Wax is a really Miss Fleer. Yeah, me too. And let's check out the odds in the back of here. They don't even have them. But like I said, inserts one per pack. And the autos are one in 576. But really nice looking cards overall. <laughs> They're stripping for Ripkins. Right off the bat here, we have Paul Canerco insert card. Um, Home Run Kings. Really nice looking insert cards overall too. And there's Stemmer hits. Stemmer's hits right off the bat says, Thanks for what you do, John. We appreciate you watching our Fat Pack Rollback Sunday. See you soon. We need 12 for 400. Thank you very much, Stemmer hits. I really appreciate that. If you're not subbed to them, please check them out. They were live all this past weekend. Um, him and his son both ripping up in old packs, new packs, looking for the golden ticket from 2020 tops. And I uh, also had some Fat Packs 91 Bowman. Which uh, love that set. Can't stress enough how much I love this. Love that set. So definitely check them out. Help them get to two, uh, 400 there. 12 more needed. Here's the Retro Lucky 13 cards. These are one in four packs on average. JD Drew. Not really a really great promising one if it was the late 90s. I've probably been pretty stoked on that. And there's a Clemens insert card. So two inserts off the bat here. Midsummer Classic Kings. But very nice looking cards overall. Trevor Hoffman, and uh, I believe you get one of these for pack two, Francisco Rodriguez. It's like kind of like the gold medallion um, insert cards. Pack one down, two inserts. Not too shabby. Hey, oddball cards, what's happening? Paul Ellis' Fleer made a lot of hidden gem sets in the 2000s. These aren't too hard to get to get your hands on. Um, a box of these usually goes for about between 50 and 60 bucks. But it looks like we already have a relic, our second pack in, Ultra Fine Fabrics. Uh, let's take a look at this Richie Sexton first, so RBI Kings. Insert card, but here is our first relic. Like I said, you really should see about two per box. But Kerry Wood, big, big name in the late 90s. But uh, pretty cool looking card, though. Nice one. like that one a lot. And then that's followed up by Manny Ramirez insert card. Diamond Producers. These packs are already stacked full insert cards. Troy Gloss. There's a Vladdy Sr. kind of sticking together a little bit. Senator Sitz says, 
Hey, John, we traded the Acuna bat down in the Lux Red 25 out of 25 auto for two jumbo boxes and two hobby boxes on the hunt. Wow. That is awesome, man. Yeah, I don't know if you guys will be live this weekend or not, Stemmers. Uh, I guess that will be next weekend um, since you just were. Um, but looking forward to seeing what else you come up with here the next time around. Really enjoy your live streams. Father and son live streams, very awesome. Pooch Lemon says, Kerry Woodcard was so hot after his 20th strikeout game. Yeah, no doubt about it. There's an A-Rod home run Kings. I feel like John A. will like that because he's a Yankees fan. Joe Maurer. And haven't seen these ones yet. Willie Tavares, rising stars. Not a whole lot of great ones in there. That really ended up panning out, but uh, there's a couple decent ones in that insert set. And you'll see a lot of these gold medallion inserts, one per pack, obviously. Oh, else is Willie Tavares, LOL. See an Ortiz in the back, could be a uh, gold medallion. Johan Santana, Strikeout Kings. So it seems like the insert cards are always on the very top of the pack, but boxes are definitely chock full of them. Pat Burrell, definitely another big name in the very tail end of the 90s and early 2000s. Diamond producers for him, Jose Vidro. It's a Derek Lee, and it is a David Ortiz uh, gold medallion. They might have changed the name of these. Actually, they were gold medallion in, the, in like the mid-late 90s. They may have changed them to something else. I can't remember. Paul L says, J.D. Drew is beyond overrated. <laughs> no doubt about it. We're off to a good start, though. James Brown says, is Joe doing all right? Yeah, Joe is okay. I don't know if he's in here or not tonight. Um, he's, I know he's off work, I think, now. Uh, hopefully, he'll pop in here in a little bit. RBI Kings, David Ortiz. But uh, 93 Dirty D says, that Ortiz card is sick, though. It definitely is an awesome one. And on the Retro Lucky 13 card, is going to be John Garland. And there's a Miggy. Diamond Producers. One of my personal favorites. Hideki Matsui, kind of early on in his career. Billy Wagner. And there's a Johnny Damon, which is another one that uh, John A. will probably enjoy. And a last pack for John A. in this stack. I think he has a top right, too, I believe. I see a Raul Ibanez in the very back. There's a Delgado, RBI Kings. So flying right through these, tons of insert cards. Renteria, Richie Sexton again. And there's a Garrett Anderson, Midsummer Classic Kings. Not really the best one you can pull out of there. Lance Berkman. And there is the Raul Ibanez. Um, cool looking cards, though. I really like these a lot. And no bricking up either, which is always a good thing. First stack down, we are definitely off to a good start. That uh, Ultra Fine Fabrics card is pretty sick, though. Carrie Wood. Kid Card Collector says, everyone stay safe and healthy. Ripping for, ripping for Ripken says, Ibanez Rookie. Now, his rookie is actually 96 Bowman. He's got a couple of rookie cards in 96. And, yep, John A. takes the top right as well. Trying to get, trying to do uh, turn back to clock Tuesday and get uh, some more boxes involved in here every single week instead of just doing one box rips. So we have two boxes tonight. The next week we have two boxes of uh, mid '90s Don Russ, and then after that we have four boxes of Don Russ. So looking forward to seeing what we can pull out of all these. But John A, you're up again. So good luck to you once again. But I don't think you need it. We have an each row on the back. More than likely going to be an insert. And an Albert Pujols home run Kings. These are pretty awesome, though. These a lot. And is a chipper. Hank Blaylock, Chase Utley. Early on in his career as well. Rising Stars insert card. Grady Sizemore. And there is an Ichiro insert. Pretty freaking awesome. Not bad. David Ortiz and then Ichiro after that. 
Definitely off to a great start. There's Oddball Cards. Just vote early and vote often. The pass is alive 2020. Thank you very much, Shane. I appreciate that, man. If you aren't subbed to Shane and Oddball Cards, definitely check him out. Definitely a good dude. And moving right on to Mark Pryor here. And Strikeout Kings. And another David Ortiz. Diamond Producers this time around. Chris Card, what's going on, man? Roy Halliday. Left us too early. And there's a Jeter Bass. Never seen that one before. Pretty freaking awesome. I'm sure John will like that one. Jimmy Rollins and Shea Hildebrand is the insert of gold. Paul says Mark Pryor was good for a few years till he blew out his arm. And moving right along here. Sheffield RBI Kings on top. Followed by a Mo Rivera. Nice one there. Never seen that before either. And a retro lucky 13 card here. Trot Nixon. Adam Dunn, Diamond Producers. These are cool looking cards. Though. I think this is probably one of my favorite insert sets out of this brand. A little bit of stickiness here. I'm trying to read these comments as well. Gustavo Chasson. I don't remember him at all whatsoever. Does anybody else, anybody buying baseball cards during this crazy time? Wondering about that. I know everyone's buying all the bread and toilet paper they get their hands on, but is I haven't really seen anybody buying too many cards. Joe Yang says post office is open, so we can all buy cards on eBay. <laughs> that is true, as long as they're still open. And there's Mark Teixeira, home run kings. Jason Schmidt, Andy Pettit. Getting a lot of Yankees in your stack, John. I'm sure you probably have no problem with that. Speaking of Yankees, there's Derek Jeter. Midsummer Classic Kings, probably the best card out of that insert set. Pretty freaking nice. <laughs> Dirty D says Shea Hildebrand. <laughs> I forgot about that dude. Yeah, a lot of us probably have. And Randy Johnson. Gold Medallion. I forget what those are called. They're not called Gold Medallions. They're called something else. I forget every time I look at these, but still a cool card nonetheless. And there's Jay's opening. He says, I just bought 20 boxes of cards. Jay, thank you, man. appreciate that. What boxes did you buy? Jay's actually going live after this live stream, too. And he's doing a box of 1989 Bowman. Searching for the Griffey rookie card. There's some other ones in there, too. Tina Martinez, Steve Finley, Sheffield, Smoltz. And look at this one. Ken Griffey Jr., RBI Kings. That is a nice one. Very good uh, stacks so far for you here, John. But yeah, like I was saying, Jay's openings, he's live after this uh, this stream's over. And he's ripping 89 in Bowman. And um, he's also doing his 300 sub giveaway um, next week. And it's a Mike Trout 2011 update rookie card giveaway. So you're definitely going to want to get in on that if you have not already. Miguel Tejada, more than likely future Hall of Famer. Diamond Producers, insert card. Eric Chavez, Brad Radke, and Mark Burley. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Mark Burl, Mark Burley. There's Craig Beats. There's only 14 likes. Come on, people. Craig, thank you very much. I appreciate that, man. I know you have a stack coming up here soon. I think you're actually in, you're in the next box up. But Craig B., hilarious guy. He just started a YouTube channel um, under the handle of Novin or Novin SLD, however you pronounce that. One day I got to figure that out uh, officially, Craig, but posted a video early today uh, opening 2019 Don Russ Optic and has a special guest by the name of Beaker from Sesame Street on there. <laughs> it's pretty it's pretty hilarious and ridiculous. I was cracking up watching it. There's a Piazza home run cake. So yeah, if you're not subbed to Craig, you definitely got to check him out too. A lot of great channels in here. Jason Giambi, some more Yanks for you. Scott Casimir, and we got a few more left for John A. Stack. Not sure if he's in here or not, but uh, Luis Gonzalez and a Jason Bay insert to end his final stack off. But uh, 
Two pretty freaking awesome stacks there. For John A. I don't think he would have any complaints with either one of those. Seen some awesome inserts, and then that uh, Kerry Wood relic as well. And that takes us to the bottom left with Lee H., also known as Criterium Racer, or Criterium Racing. Uh, he's usually in here. And you bet, Craig, I'm looking forward to your next video, man. They literally crack me up. Especially in this crazy, wild time that we're living in. Always good to have stuff like that to watch. Hey, Jamal, what's happening? First pack in for Lee H. And a good sign here. Pedro J. Martinez, Strikeout Kings insert card. Trying to call him some There's Criterium Racer right there. He is in here. Thank you, man. So far off to a good start with Pedro Martinez. And it's a pool holes. And Jorge Cantu. I don't remember him very much at all whatsoever. So not too bad. The Pedro and Albert Pujols in the first pack. Boom slang. What's going on, man? The last year of Fleer Ultra was it 2000 and around 2008, somewhere in there, 2009 maybe. Jeff Kent, RBI Kings. I always liked Jeff Kent, regardless of how other people felt about him. Another uh, big poppy, but the regular base edition and a Jim Edmonds Diamond Producer. Jay's opening is nice pool holes. Jay's opening is actually PC's pool holes. And especially Mark McGuire. If you have any Mark McGuire cards that you don't want, want to get rid of, you need to get in touch with Jay's openings. He has a massive collection. I think he has like the third biggest McGuire collection in the universe. So if you got any Big Macs to sell, Jay's openings, he's your guy. See a Bobby Abreu in the back of this next pack. And another Griffey, Home Run Kings. Nice. Definitely a good one there. It's like uh, Raul Banez, regular base card there. Shea Hillebrand again. Josh Beckett, retro lucky 13. Hopefully we see the uh, Verlander tonight. And a Padre Rodriguez, Midsummer Classic Kings. These inserts are awesome. It's nothing better than getting one insert per pack. Always a good, good thing. And there is the Baba Brayu gold. And we have three packs left. Going right through these quickly. There are only eight card packs, so. Chris Card says some of these cards will look good with some ink. No doubt about it, man. There's a Manny, RBI Kings, and Randy Johnson Base. Jason Bay. Houston Street Rising Stars. There's a Robinson Cano. He's probably the best one in the Rising Stars set, as far as I remember. David Shaw says nice looking cards. Never seen them before. They definitely are cool. Um, 07 Ultra looks almost identical to these ones. It's pretty wild. There's a Miggy base and David Wright gold. Jay's opening says I have the fourth biggest Maguire collection according to Trade Card Database. I knew it was either third or fourth. Well, one of these days you will be at number one, man. It's be sick. Lou Rock TV, what's happening, man? Craig account sell in the back. Same pattern of cards every pack, though, with the insert on top. It's a shilling. More than likely, he'll be getting into Cooperstown next year. I would almost guarantee it. I'm sure a lot of you will agree with that. And Eric Chavez, Retro Lucky 13. Bobby Abreu, Diamond Producers. Looks like we have a Craig Hansen rookie card. Not a bad one. Craig Council. That is the gold card and one pack left for Lee. I've seen some nice ones in the stack though, regardless. So we got a pool hall's gold in the back. Jason Harris says it's not the hall till Crime Dog gets in. Hopefully that happens sometime in the next couple years. I mean, it definitely should happen. Carlos Lee leading off with his insert from RBI Kings. Paul Canerco, he may get in someday as well. I wouldn't be surprised. And Hideki Matsui, Diamond Producers, is a pretty nice one as well. Mark Teixeira. 
Also, speaking of the Hall of Fame, on more of a scale, I mean, I feel like he definitely has a rightful place in there as well, and we'll get in eventually. And there's Albert Pujols Gold. Nice way to end the stack off. I'm sure Jay probably needs that one. Almost guaranteed. <laughs> Paul L says, Carlos Lee was almost as fat as Prince Fielder. <laughs> That takes us to the very last stack of the first box. This is going too fast. Going way too fast. And we're also doing a giveaway tonight. I guess I kind of just cut right into it without even announcing this, but um, I mean, it's a good thing too. But if you watched the video last Thursday, um, the Jim Pack box, subscription box, we pulled this out of it, the Robbie Almar Pokemon autograph. <laughs> Looks like Pokemon at least. But super sick card. Uh, we're giving this away tonight. And we're also giving away the Bagwell rookie card as well. So those two will go together for the giveaway. And that's going to be a little bit later. Paul also the Pokemon autograph. And after we do that, um, heading over to Jay's openings and watching him rip 89 Bowman. Looking for the Griffey. Adam Weiss says, I don't understand how Manly is not in. Well, hopefully he does get in someday. I think a lot of us agree that he should be in there. There's a Matsui RBI King. So a lot of these insert cards are the same players. But um, got some good ones in there regardless. Brian Giles, kind of at the tail end of his career. And there's a Mark Teixeira, lucky, a retro lucky 13. And here's one that's going to Iguchi, Rising Stars. Not, not a great one to pull. Kid Card Collectors Dawson was a great player. Jason Harris is 89 Bowman and the ones that didn't fit in penny sleeves. They didn't fit in regular penny sleeves. They used to drive me nuts as a kid. So all my corners were just completely destroyed. And this stack is actually going to Philip S., by the way. I apologize. I got sidetracked with the uh, the giveaway. But Philip S. is his first break with us. So good luck to you, Philip. Kind of all over the place here tonight. Willie Mo Pena on the back. And, whoa, look at this. Nice. Smolt Strikeout Kings insert card. And then a Sosa Ultra Fine Fabric. So there's our second relic of the evening. Like they said, two per box on average. Usually, usually but um, pretty freaking awesome. Very nice. Going to Philip S., his first break with us. So congrats on that, man. Three inserts, one pack. Todd Helton. Diamond Producers, Chase Utley. That's a Connor Jackson rookie card. That's really not a bad one either. Darren Erstad, I was all about him back in the mid-90s when he first came on the scene. And there's the Willie Moe. And we got the ding corner there. Gold. Not a bad pack at all. Chris Roberts, is that a corked relic? <laughs> Ken's Carver says, I need that Helton. Philip S., if he's in here, get in touch with him. I think I may actually have that Helton, too. I bought a bunch of hanger boxes of these that were already open from the junk store for like five bucks a piece, and they had tons of... They weren't searched at all. They had all the original inserts and rookies in them. So right on top, Bagwell RBI Kings. Leading off here. Really nice-looking cards, though. There's a Pudge. Hey, there he is. Philip. what's happening, man? Pudge Rodriguez, not sure if you're stoked about that uh, Sosa or not, but maybe you'll be more stoked about this Griffey Diamond Producers. A really nice card here. And it looks like we retro a lucky 13 card coming up after. Maybe it'll be Verlander or Jeter or something. Maybe not, but uh, very, very cool. Jamal, thank you, man. You're very, you're very, very kind. Got fooled there on the retro lucky card. But uh, on average, it's about one per four packs. Ripping for Ripkins, I apologize. But he says, everyone check out Jay's openings after the break to see the 89 Bowman break. Searcher for the Griffey. Corey, very, very cool of you to do that. Yeah, that's what I was saying earlier. Check out Jay's openings. Sub to him if you're not. He's going to be live after the stream's over. We're going to do the giveaway then go over there. And on top of that, if you're not sub to Corey, Ripping for Ripkins, definitely check him out too. He's always pumping out videos. Both are good friends of mine. There's a Vladdy Guerrero, senior home run Kings insert card.
Coco Crisp. Have not heard that name in a while. Alfonso Soriano. <laughs> Ripping for Ripken says, trying to give the man some publicity. Carlos Zambrano. Lou Rock, thanks, man. Appreciate you guys all being here. And AJ Burnett is the gold. We have two packs left. So far, off to a good start, though. With the Griffey insert and the Sosa swatch. Roy Oswalt, gold on the back. Derek Lee, RBI Kings. And there's our Retro Lucky 13, Tony Clark. A little bit of stickiness here. Still haven't seen a Ryan Zimmerman rookie card. I'm sure we probably will into this other box. You would think so, at least. Jamal says baseball season might be a 75-game season. Yeah, definitely could be. Eric Chavez. Diamond Producers insert card. And there's a real uh, Roy Oswalt. Gold and takes us to our last pack for Philip. Marcus Giles in the back. And Manny Ramirez, home run kings on top here. So tons of inserts. I'm sure we're going to see many doubles, but I see a decent one coming up here. And it is Felix Hernandez, rising stars. Between him and uh, Robinson Cano, probably the two best in this insert set. Followed by Mike Piazza, Chris Carpenter, and there's the Marcus Giles gold card. Two Marcus Giles in the same pack, base and gold. Jamal says Soriano was a stud. Paul else says King Felix, my man. Yeah, definitely a great box. And we saw the two game used jerseys as well. I think Randy Johnson has one too, and it's a pants jersey. Or, I mean, a pants relic. Texas 2 box number two. Shayla says, I hope everyone makes it through the crisis. We are in safe, or be safe and well. Thank you, Shayla. Thanks for being here. It's a great way to get your mind off of things. I'm trying to read these comments, but they're flying by really quick. So I apologize if I'm missing anybody. Flare Showcase, Box Topper, Advertisement. And let's go to the top left. Rocking for the Dead says, Pass is alive. Do you like football? I don't mind it. I don't really collect it, though. I don't have much. I sold... Um, Actually, you know what? I have a big football collection that I've accumulated buying different collections out. I'm going to probably post it on eBay sometime soon. Um, just like a mix of a bunch of rookies and stuff. I think there's like some decent stuff in there. Texas 2, top left, Sal S. Yeah, I'm generally not a football guy for the most part. Good luck to you, Sal. But I'll probably make a video going through all the cards and then post it on eBay for like 10 bucks. See if anybody's interested, but there's like there's a good bit. Rockins is a buy for five hundred dollars. That sounds like a deal to me, man. <laughs> but you don't even know it's in there yet, though. There's a nice one. Clement strikeout kings. Samuel says I collected Joe Montana. I don't. I wouldn't call that lame, man. There's a Manny Bass. Haven't seen that one yet. And a Paul Canerco, Diamond Producers. I think we saw that one earlier. And what is this? Mike Sweeney, what is this supposed to be redemption? You can make a reservation to redeem your card by visiting our website, Fleer.com, and following the easy steps. It's at Kenji Johima. This is card number 251. These are randomly inserted into packs. Um, it's not a numbered card, it's not an auto, it's a regular card, but uh, it's number 251. This is like the weirdest thing ever. I was reading about this before. Um, these are only for redemption, but <laughs> this is long expired. Paul L says Kenji Johima was so bad. Yes, yeah, <laughs> there's South 316 right there. It says <laughs> WTF LOL. Well, maybe you can sell the redemption by itself on eBay <laughs> for a couple bucks. 
I was like wondering what that car was going to look like. And that was it. It's like, oh, sweet. Maybe it's an auto. Nope. It's Kenji. Kid Car Collection's new toilet paper. Craig says, I love Kenji. Then he played. Then I didn't love him so much. <laughs> Sal says, listed for 500 bucks. Maybe in these trying times, there is somebody out there that is after that card. Maybe Fleer will still still honor it if you can get a hold of him. Andrew Jones, RBI Kings. There is an A-Rod. Ryan Howard, Travis Hafner. <laughs> Throwing a free roll, TP. He was hyped up a lot and didn't produce, Jay says. Listed for TP trades only. <laughs> Robert Andino, rookie card, gold. Ken's car versus contact upper deck. They bought Fleer. That is right. I wonder how many of those redemptions are still out there. How many were actually redeemed? Here's a nice one in the back of this pack for Sal. Mike Piazza, gold, coming up here. Ortiz, home run kings. I can't keep track of which ones we pulled so far because the, the, some of these inserts look exactly the same other than diamond producers. Hard to tell. There's a Clemens base and a Nomar. Retro Lucky 13. One of the better ones we've seen. Here's a nice one, though, that we haven't seen yet. Midsummer Classic Kings Griffey. Very nice. And there is the Gold Piazza. Very, very nice. Like that one a lot. Good pack. Several nice ones in there. Three packs left for Sal. Jamal says no more was a stud. Yeah, I was all about him back in the early 90s, man. All about him. I think Eric was, too. So Hideki Matsui, I think we saw this one earlier, but not a bad one. RBI Kings. It's like uh, Delman Young, or Dimitri Young, actually. Delman Young was just coming up right around that time. There's a Gucci again. Rising Stars insert. A couple repeats here. Not necessarily a bad thing. We have repeat Piazzas. Chris Carpenter. And... Michael Young is the gold card. Taking us to the last two packs here. The second box. Smoltz. Strikeout Kings. Again, saw that one earlier. I think the last stack of the last box. I'm giving away the good insert cards here. Helton Diamond Producers. And there's that Chris Carpenter, possibly a new... Bad Omen here. I think we've seen that card about four or five times. I don't normally open packs this new. Probably the newest I've opened on the channel. I think we opened uh, 06 Tops certain series a while back. There's a Bagwell RBI King. Saw that one earlier. Cool photo, though. Scott Rowland. It was all about him in the mid-90s. And um, crazy story about Scott Rowland, which I'm sure most of you know, that Eric sold me his 95 Bowman rookie card for 75 cents um, back in 95. And then the, the next month, Beckett had it listed for 75 bucks, and he was pretty pissed about it. It's Matt Holiday and another Griffey, Diamond Producers. Won't get sick of seeing that one. Very nice. Tony Clark. And nothing else too great in that pack, but good stack all around for Sal. Steven says, do you break complete unopened sets? And you know what? I've never done that before. I've seen other people that do that. I just uh, never really thought about it, but maybe someday we would do that. I like breaking packs more just because I like to pull rookies and inserts and stuff like that. So I don't know if that was something that I would ever really consider doing. Velvet Bananas has signed Tom Hankey, rookie 84 Don Ross. What's it worth? Good condition. Uh, I don't know how much you'd really get for a Tom Hankey 84 Don Ross unless there's like a certificate of authenticity with it. And even if you have that, you you probably wouldn't get too much for it, honestly. Our buddy Joseph Baumgarten's up next. Best bet is probably look on eBay sold listings and see if there's any other on-card autos of Tom Hankey on there. And I don't want to give you an exact price range, but um, I don't know. If you're looking to sell it, throw it on there and as an auction and see what you can get for it. There's an A-Rod RBI Kings. I know Joe Baumgarten is an A-Rod fan, so sure, it's uh, nice to see that. Zach Granke, pretty early in his career. Pedro Martinez, 
Barry Zito, Retro Lucky 13 card. Joe Yankee is pumped about that A-Rod insert. <laughs> Ripping Rickens' Laugh Out Loud Yak Pack insert, Hanky Auto. Jeff Frank Kerr, Rising Stars. And is that Shannon Stewart? Gold. Signed Sabo glasses. <laughs> Jason says. Paul also says Barry Zito released a country album not long ago. That's pretty wild, man. I did not know that. Joe Maurer, gold card in the back. And we have a relic. Is it a big poppy? It very well might be. Randy Johnson, Strikeout Kings. Travis Hafner is the first relic of this box. Joe's been getting uh, very lucky pulling the inserts out of the last few boxes. Mark Teixeira, Diamond Producers. Travis Hafner, definitely not the most desirable one that you could get. But maybe we'll see like a Jeter or a Griffey or something like that later on. We still have a chance at one more. Bobby Abreu and there's a Joe Maurer gold. Hafner was really good for a few years, Craig says. Daniel says that Barry Zito toured with Leanne Rimes. That's crazy. Is Leanne Rimes even still around anymore? I feel like I haven't heard that name since I was like, I don't know, 13. Mike Piazza, RBI Kings. I think it's the first time we're seeing that tonight. I'm sure Joe Yankee probably likes that one as well. There's an Adam Dunn and Albert Pujols. Diamond Producers, definitely a nice one. These are cool looking cards. I like these ones better than the... Uh, RBI and Home Run Kings. Is that Jake Peavy? Gold card to end it out. And three packs left. With a Javi Lopez, or as I used to call him, JV Lopes. <laughs> Back in the early 90s. Andrew Jones, Home Run King. Smoltz and Randy Johnson. I'm sure Joe likes this one as well. Midsummer Classic Kings. There's a nice Ichiro. First time seeing that. Paul L says, Pool Hulse is one of the greatest of all time. Yeah, he definitely is. JV Lopes, gold. <laughs> Craig B. Crack me up, man. Two packs left for Joe. Julio Lugo on the back. I don't remember him either. There's a Miggy again. Very nice. I can't remember if we saw that one or one of the home run kings last time. There's a Matt Morris, Retro Lucky 13, and another A-Rod, but it's a Diamond Producers this time. It's pretty freaking awesome. I'm sure you're pumped about that. Kid Car Clutch says, Eric said one of, on one of his videos there might be a way to turn 80s and 90s commons into toilet paper. I think he might be losing his mind. Paul says, I used to call Mark Teixeira, Mark Tex Eria. I feel like I definitely did too at one point. And there is the Julio Lugo, who I... Do not remember, I'm sure most people don't remember. Scott Kasman in the back. Richie Sexton, last pack for Joe B. Home run Kings. And here's a nice one coming up, though. There's a Barry Zito and the Robbie Cano, Rising Stars. So we saw the Felix Hernandez and now this one. Definitely a nice one. Connor Jackson, rookie card. Darren Erstad. And there's the Scott Kasmir again. And that ends Joe B's stack out. We got two more stacks left. Definitely a good stack. Joe agrees. And we're moving right along here to the bottom left for our hilarious buddy, Craig B, who is in here. I'm telling you, if you're not sub to him, you got to check him out. Novin SLD. Hilarious, dude. Paul else is oh man, Craig. A lot of the no-name rookies have to be the worst. At least there's no Bill Van Landinghams in this set. So, <laughs> I think you're in a clear. Carl Zambrano leads it off, though. Strikeout Kings. And there's a Felix Hernandez base. This is a decent one. Andrew Jones, good pack so far for you. David Wright, Diamond Producers. And Derek Lee, Sean Green, Gold. Ends it off. First pack down. Zambrano gold in the back, and a Todd Helton RBI Kings insert card. 
So we got a retro lucky 13. We have a gold too. So there are silver and there are gold. And the gold is going to be Paul Wilson, which is not really a jaw dropping card to pull for these subset cards. I was all about Paul Wilson in the mid 90s during the Generation K craze. Gold, Paul Wilson. Not sure how stoked you are about that, but still cool to pull a gold retro lucky card. Derek Lee, Diamond Producers. Alfonso Soriano base, and there is the Carlos Zambrano gold. And Bartolo on the back here. Another Alfonso, home run Kings. Craig's is loving a gold card. Well, that's definitely an awesome thing. CC Sabathia, a Miggy Tejada. Nice one. I don't think we've seen that one yet. Travis Hafner, possible bad omen coming up here. Gary Sheffield. And there is the Bartolo Colon gold card. Dirty Deese is the gold cards in the set are pretty cool. They definitely are. They're neat for sure. Like I said, between 06 and 07, they didn't really switch up too much. To look up what the last year of Ultra was. It may have been 07. I can't remember. Sheffield Home Run Kings leading off here. I'm trying to hide these other inserts. They're too obvious. Miguel Tejada Maddox. Back of this Cubs attire again. Todd Helton and a Mike Piazza. Midsummer Classic Kings. Cool looking card. Never ever get used to seeing Galavin in a Mets jersey there. Whatsoever. Need Cologne. <laughs> Need Cologne for. For B.O., bad omen, says Henry. Two packs left. And heading over to Jay's stream after this. Luis Gonzalez leading off with RBI Kings. Dontrell Willis. And here's a nice one. I can't remember if we pulled this one already earlier or not. Jeter Diamond Producers. Definitely a freaking awesome card, though. Craig B., I'm sure you probably like that. I don't know anyone that doesn't like Jeter. Except for the one person didn't vote for him. Edmonds. Still no sign of the Zimmerman rookie card either, which is one I was hoping we'd see. And it takes us to our last pack. <laughs> Joe Yankees has sneaked that Jeter into my stack. <laughs> John Patterson on the very back. Adam Dunn leading off here. They kind of really suck all the fun out of it, putting that insert on the uh, on the very front. Craig Bressler, rookie card. Not too much of a bad one there. Rob Jesus, hey, John, great break like always. Thanks, man. Appreciate you being here. Kurt Schilling is a decent one. Base, haven't seen that one yet. Troy Gloss. And, oh, man, this name kind of makes me cringe. Paul L. Rising star, Zach Duke. <laughs> so Hanley Ramirez, Robinson Cano, and John Patterson Gold. Zach Duke, Rising Stars. I was. He was definitely hyped up. Very, very hyped up. And I think I was kind of part of that. Paul also, Zach Duke is cringe, played way too long. Craig says, Love these Fleer cards. Thanks for the rip, John. No problem, man. I definitely have some Sandbergs that I've been setting aside for you, too. So those will be getting their way into your stack as well, Craig. Some cool stuff in there. Jason Epps is Kurt Schilling, 2020 Hall of Fame. I think uh, that's definitely going to happen here real soon. And that takes us to the very last stack here for our buddy, Corey Ripping for Ripkins, who I think is still lurking in here. Pretty sure he is, at least. Oh, well, I'm definitely doing it, Craig, so expect some. I don't know if you'll have them or not. I can't guarantee that, but... Try to find some oddball ones for you. Morgan Ensberg, gold on the back here. Starting it off, Derek Lee, home run Kings. So, I mean, we given the odds, we should see another game-used relic in this stack. So it seems like top left and bottom right. Ryan Howard, rising stars. Is that Adrian Beltry? Yeah, it is Adrian Beltry. Jeff Francoeur. And there is the Morgan Ensberg gold card. First pack down. Nothing too amazing in there. Corey's probably fighting off a lot of lizards right now as we speak. 
Paul L says, Jonathan H is probably lurking here too. I hope that Jonathan H is lurking here. I haven't talked to him in a long time. I hope that he is all right. I have not seen him in quite a while. There's Chris Carpenter. He's definitely been put on the omen list. This is probably the fifth time we've seen him tonight. So thank you, Corey, for making that possible. Pat Burrell, Jeff Kent, Mike Lieberthal. I don't know why or how Mike Lieberthal made his way into this Retro Lucky 13. I know he's a big prospect back in 1991 or 1990, but I don't know who would be possibly be stoked to pull his card in 2006. That beats me. Jason Bay, Don Producers. As Noma again, and there's Darren Erstad Gold. And I wouldn't be surprised to pull a Raul Mondesi Retro Lucky 13 card for Corey. That seems to be his luck. And he's going to start PCing him very soon. Hey, Yankees fan, what's happening? Paul Canerco Gold in this pack. Mark TX Erie, uh, <laughs> as Paul L. used to call him, RBI Kings. And a nice one coming up here. Sean Figgins. Who's this? Craig Monroe. And there's a Vladdy Senior, Don Producers. Have not seen that one yet. Frank the Tanks, his Earth stat was solid. Yeah, I was definitely all about him. Mid 90s. Tory Hunter, too. I was also a fan of his as well. And Paul Canerco, gold. And last three packs of the night for Corey. Where is that relic at? We already saw the redemption for the Kenji. This pack doesn't feel like it's in here. Jake PV Strikeout Kings. Another Zach Duke, which I'm sure Paul is super into that. And it looks like we have Ryan Zimmerman rookie card in here. Finally pulled that one. That's pretty awesome. I'm pretty stoked about that. Jeff Kent, Don Producers, and the Zimmerman Rookie, the very last stack. And Yachty Molina after that, also another player that um, Jay's Openings PCs. Chase Utley Gold, definitely a decent pack there. Best rookie in the set, the Zimmerman. Zim looks really young, says Steven. Yeah, he definitely does. Two packs left. Whoa, and it is a Sean Green Field the Game relic. First time seeing one of these. Not sure how you feel about uh, Sean Green. Definitely a solid ball player, though. Very, very cool. I like these a lot. Feel the game, Sean Green. Congrats, Corey. Not sure if you'll hang on to that one or trade it to somebody else, but um, not a ball whatsoever. Vladdy Guerrero, RBI Kings before that one. And here's a nice one for you. Chipper Jones, Diamond Producers. Corey actually collects Chipper Jones, so that's pretty freaking awesome for him. I doubt he had that one. Definitely a nice... Jay is open. says that's a nice card. Definitely is. Jeff Weaver on the back here. The gold card. Takes us to one last pack. But uh, that Sean Green is nice. I like that a lot. Definitely a cool design to this one. There's Craig B. Says, check out Corey's channel. Ripping for Ripkins. Awesome stuff. Also, go to Jay's openings after John's stream for more great card action. Thank you very much, Craig. Definitely check out both those guys. Check out Jay after the stream. But also... Click on that and check out Craig as well. Novin SLD, Novin's lead, however you pronounce that. Let me know so I can officially put this to rest. But three great channels from just great guys in general. Always fun to have you guys in here. There's a Pool Hulls, RBI Kings, and the very last pack, Abigio. First time seeing that one tonight. Mike Cameron, which actually one of Paul L's fair players back then. Pedro Martinez, first time seeing that one. And a Griffey Jr. Base. Finally see that card tonight for the first time. Very cool. And another nice one here. Connor Jackson, rookie card of gold for Corey J. So no Ripkins in this set or these pulls for Corey, but definitely some cool cards overall. And that is the...
end of the two box break and that takes us to the giveaway before I smash my laptop here but the giveaway for the Pokemon autograph and the Bagwell rookie card thank you guys for subbing to each other you guys are awesome so um, let's see here let's see what we got pull us up You guys can see it a little better there we go should be perfect all right so all you have to do to enter this giveaway these are actually courtesy of jampacks.net um that's how we're giving these away but um all you have to do is comment on the video that i did on the last box the subscription box and that's all you have to do so Go ahead and get these comments filtered out. We got 94 unique commenters. Says so thank you guys all for participating in that. Uh, and good luck to you. I'm going to pick one winner. And then I'm going to pick a backup winner as well. Because it seems that a lot of people don't claim prizes. So um, let's see what we got here. So the winner is going to be... Michael Roberts says... 21 minutes in, Cello Pack had Ben Franklin price sticker. I wonder who all had Ben Franklin stores. He's referring to the 89 Fleer Cello Pack that was in there. It had like a 399 Ben Franklin tag on it. So congrats, Michael Roberts. Um, let me know, you know, if you if you see this and claim your prize within 24 hours, and these cards are coming to you. Um, if you don't claim within 24 hours, then this next person is going to steal this prize. There's Justin Roberts says, rest in peace, Delaney's Pub. It's not dead yet. The backup winner is Brian Retikis. It says, awesome rip brings back good memories. So both of you email me. And um, yeah, whoever uh, basically first place winner, if you don't claim it, then Michael, then Brian Retikis, these cards are coming to you. So that is all that I have for you guys today. Um, I'll definitely have some more videos for you later in the week. Um, I'm going to try to make several more, do some different stuff, maybe do some toy videos, and also do some personal rips. So stay tuned for that, especially as everyone's quarantined in their house. What better else to do than party, open baseball cards, and just BS. So thank you guys all for watching and being here. You guys are the best. Stay safe, and um, I will see you all very, very soon. Have a good night, everybody.